the second umbilical now separating from the tower, marking less than 15 seconds. The engine's igniting. Ramping up. And liftoff. The year in space starts now. Kelly, Kornienko, and Padaka on their way towards the International Space Station. To quote the great Neil Armstrong, they go in peace for all mankind. Still joining us is Bill Harwood, our space expert here at CBS. Bill, obviously this is set up as a test against a potential mission to Mars. What do we know about the reality or any plans for that kind of mission? Yeah, you know, we've all been talking about the, the medical research needed for that flight, but that, of course, doesn't take into account the political requirements, the cost of a mission like that. Uh, no one believes NASA and its international partners can attempt a piloted Mars mission at least until the 2030s, maybe even after that, uh, depending on how much money is available. You know, NASA's near-term goal is to go beyond the moon. They want to work on uh, capturing a piece of a small asteroid and doing some hands-on analysis in the 2020s. But any flights to Mars are, are well beyond that. And we do know, you know, these these three brave men will be spending their year on the International Space Station. Is there international cooperation around a mission of that magnitude? Oh, absolutely. I don't think anybody, including NASA, believes that any one country uh, would ever be able to afford a mission uh, to Mars on its own. It'll undoubtedly be an international effort. And by the way, we've got some great cabin video from the Soyuz as it goes uphill, as they say. Nice picture of Scott Kelly uh, waving at the camera there he uh, from his seat on the right side of the capsule. It's uh, looking like he's having a good time and enjoying the ride. <laughs> yeah. At 1,100 feet per, or I'm sorry, is that 1,100 miles an hour or 1,100 feet per yeah. second? Oh, no, they're, they're well beyond that. Uh, and remember, it's accelerating all the time. As it uses up fuel, it gets lighter, but the rockets are continuing to push at the same rate. So it's going faster and faster. And at the end of uh, eight minutes and 45 seconds or so, they're going to be going five miles per second, which is orbital velocity. So right now, it all looks like it's going very well.